Sorry, yes, the wind keeps gusting up. This is going to be kind of a Premiere Pro splicing nightmare. What's up, guys? Rich here. I'm not going to do a big video on Betaflight 4 just because so many other people are doing that. What I wanted to do, though, because I've gotten a lot of questions and comments lately about my setup and rates and PIDs and all that kind of stuff, I want to go through uh, my hardware. I'm going to go through my Betaflight 4 setup, and uh, then we'll go... Go for a little rip. So first we'll start out with the hardware. My airframe is the Team Black Sheep Source 1. It's the V2, V0.2, whatever, the second one. And uh, I love this frame. It's great. It's super durable. It is inexpensive and it fits all of my hardware just perfectly. Um, I think it's about $30. You can get it all the various sources. And uh, as far as arms and stuff, if you break an arm, like typically you can just buy extra arms off of uh, you know any of the vendors, but I just buy a whole extra frame, and then you get four arms. And again, for a thirty-dollar frame, less than thirty dollars, uh, it doesn't make sense not to just buy the whole frame. You get excellent protection for your motors, and uh, the arms are just wide enough for the ESCs that I run. Yeah, love this frame. Don't see any reason to spend a hundred dollars on a frame. Now for electronics, for my flight controller, I run the Holy Bro Kakut F7 all in one. So it's got the PDB and the OSD and all that stuff built into it. That keeps me from having to worry about a power distribution board and that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, there's not much to say about this flight controller. It's got soft mounted gyro. I soft mount the entire board also. Just gives you a little extra noise buffer. And, uh, yeah, it flies great. A little on the pricey side, but it's totally worth it. I mean, you're not buying truckloads of these things. So for ESCs, I mean, obviously you can't see them here, but these are the Tico 32 F3 ESCs, not the metal ones. Although, these are getting a little harder to come by, so I might have to switch to the metal ones. Um, but this is a great ESC. The form factor is just perfect for this frame. It's 35 amp, plenty of power and super, super clean output on these. They don't, you know, introduce a bunch of noise into the system. Some of the other cheaper ESCs that I've used are just noisy as hell, and they're terrible. Yeah, so motors, these are, I did another video on these motors. These are the iFlight Zing Jing 2306-2450KV. These things are amazing motors. I mean, I can't say enough about them. I previously was running the uh, Mr. Steel V2 motors, and those are fantastic motors also, although at a premium price point, and they're not quite as durable as these. So I just keep running these. I keep a few extras on hand. If I need to swap one out, I just swap it out. That's only literally in three, four months now of flying these motors on all my builds. I've only ever had to replace one, and I am pretty tough on my gear. So, I mean, that should say something about those. Now for video. This is the Holy Bro Addle Addle in here. It's a HVV2. I think that's the only way they come. But uh, it's an all right VTX. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say here. It's not as good range-wise as like the Unify and the Tramp. Uh, but it's relatively inexpensive. It's very dependable as long as you don't overheat it. I've only smoked one or two of them and it's because I overheated them. And it was my fault. You know, don't leave your shit sitting in the sun at 800 milliwatts for 10 minutes. It's going to destroy your gear. So, anyways, it is, uh, you know, Rotorite run cam going into that. And a little Luminaire Axie study coming out in a 3D printed thing. And, uh, yeah, that's the video system. And uh, Crossfire receiver, um, a Mortal T antenna. And I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a cap. It's just a uh, 35 volt, 470 microfarad, low ESR cap. And that's just, I don't even think that's needed. I've only put that on a few of my builds. It doesn't seem to make a difference, but whatever. Lastly, for HD, I got this fancy Brain 3D, 3D printed thing. Run my camera angles at about 25 to 30 degrees, although lately I've started experimenting with less camera tilt to see if I can get some cooler effects out of it, and I uh, kind of like it. I don't know if I'll stick with it, but um, we'll see some footage from that at the end of this. Finally, props. So, I'm running the V1S's on this one. I also run the S3, Mr. Steel Ethics, whatever. The watermelon props. Uh, depends on where I'm at and 
what I need my quad to do. So as far as I'm concerned, the V1S and the S3 props, they perform really, really similarly. And if I want just a tiny bit extra smoothness for what I'm doing, if I'm doing really flowy stuff out in trees and whatnot, then I'll usually opt for the S3s because they may have the edge on smoothness. Uh, if I'm out and I need speed and power and I'm in bandos and I'm doing aggressive maneuvers, usually I'll usually I'll throw on a set of V1S and 5043s. All right, so uh, let's plug this thing into the computer and I'll show you my Betaflight tune. Um, spoiler alert, there's not a whole lot to it. I mean, I only make a couple very minor changes. But uh, yeah, let's let's just run through them real quick. All right, for beta flight, ports are all default straight out of uh, the Kakut F7 manual. Nothing special going on here. Uh, Configuration-wise, I do run props out. I find that I get snagged and crash a whole lot less with props out. D shot 1200 all the way. Uh, AK AK accelerator accelerometer on. Uh, what else is there to see in here? Crossfire, obviously. Run telemetry. I actually leave the ESC sensors off because the Kakut F7 has an onboard current sensor. So arm angle at 180, obviously, for your turtle mode purposes. Uh, power and battery, leave all this at default. Fail safe, leave all this at default also. Nothing really to see here. Alright, here's where the magic happens. My PIDs are almost completely stock. I bumped up the D-gains just a little bit on roll and pitch, and I dropped down my feed forward on roll and pitch, and that's it. Like, nothing else is really needed. My rates, I do run kind of a high super rate, um, just a touch of expo, and it just, I don't know, like, rates are just personal, like, run whatever feels best to you. I played around with them for a long time, and came up with this, and it's just what I've been flying for a year now, so I leave it alone. Uh, I pretty much leave all the rest of this stuff just bone stock. No reason to change any of this unless you're having a specific problem. In terms of filters, I drop down this gyro low pass one dynamic min cutoff frequency down. I think stock is 150. I dropped it down to 130. That does help get rid of a little bit of prop wash. And uh, yeah, that's all it's really there for. And in conjunction with the D gain and the dynamic filters, like. I mean, this thing flies great now, so no reason to mess with it. Uh, Receiver-wise, I don't know if there's anything to look at in here. I run interpolation for RC smoothing. I don't run it filtered. I do change that. There was an issue I was having with filtered RC smoothing back on Betaflight 3.5, and I just turned it off and haven't turned it back on, even in 4.0, even though it's probably fine, but whatever. For modes, I don't do anything special at all. I have three modes, arm, beeper, flip over. Like, that's all you need to fly. That's all I fly on my freestyle builds. My long range setup is a little bit more complicated, but I mean, this is all you need. Three channels, and then uh, my crossfire link quality comes over over aux 4, and then you can run eight channel. OSD is just sort of warning. Battery voltage, battery consumption, uh, my little gamer tag or whatever you want to call it, and LQ. And that's it. All right, now you've seen all that. Uh, I am trying a kind of new thing today. I got rid of, on my other quad, I got rid of this 3D printed mount and did the little foam wedge thing that Mr. Steel does. Kind of like it. Let's go out front and just do a quick fly around the front yard and yeah, judge for yourself. <laughs>
button hit the little bell so you can stay up to date and i'll see you in the next one